Welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. My name is Tobel, and we're back, and we were able to recover without too many issues from that last crash at the end of the last episode. All I had to do was get Doc a backpack, and he was all set to go. Uh, we're over here near Stack, and as I mentioned, we're a little bit short of money because we had to pay the $10,000, 10,000 cat fee to join the beloved Shinobi Thieves. So I was thinking, why don't we have some fun and poke a couple bulls, right? Because nothing ever went wrong with that. Look at that archer line. Look at that beautiful art. You're going to shoot Diane in the back of the head. How about you move up here, Laura? So we're going to kite these bulls over to the city because I have no shame. And I will happily use the aid of our uh, noble brethren in arms. And hey, if a couple of them get knocked down in the meantime, well, that's that's life, you know? So we're going to get the leather from these folks and folks, these bulls, and we're going to sell the leather, make a good bit of profit on that. Oh, they're also going to have a uh, a fight with some dust bandits or hungry bandits as well. But we'll uh, we'll get the money from that. I think we're going to look for a new recruit for a couple of new recruits for the city. Um, you know, it's also thinking. Because someone mentioned that uh, the martial arts is really satisfying and fun in this game, and I agree. Martial arts is very, very fun, very powerful, too, if you get a character who gets really high in martial arts. So why don't we pick a couple people from our squad and have them focus on martial arts? And unfortunately, no one really came to us with martial arts abilities, just melee attack and melee defense. So... Since everyone will be starting from scratch, where am I looking at over here? It's going to be under martial arts. No one has any martial arts skill. So why don't we have maybe Hand and Lydia become our martial artists? And by that I mean we can basically give them... We take away their weapon, and from then on they're a martial artist. They'll just only use their hands in combat because they don't have a weapon. And once we get some, uh, some training things like this, this is a, basically a training dummy. Now, there are some training dummies, I believe, that help you to raise your martial arts ability. So we'll have them focus on that because that could be fun. It could be something just, just a little bit different. Uh, and you, you wind up getting... Whoop. I didn't mean to run through everyone. Oh, wow. Rin just got, like, one shot there. All right. Let's have someone pick Rin up. Uh, Doc, please. Doc, please. Yeah, that's right. Run right through those bulls, Doc. You're invincible. Okay, so we're uh, we're abusing a little bit of the city system, the city guards. Hey, that's fine. Oh, let's also have Doc uh, take some of this loot because he uh, I hit the wrong person, I guess. Jade picked up all that stuff. He does have some stuff already in his, his uh, backpack. So I guess we're going to have to spread the love around just a bit. But we're definitely going to take uh, some of this or some of this uh, these goods from the bulls, some of their raw materials and we'll use that for our own benefit i'm getting these guys right in the middle of combat and i didn't mean to do that i also want to take ranged off because i don't want to accidentally uh start attacking the holy city guards they should be able to fight this out without any issues let's have some people just grab what they need while they're in here and i'm sure i'm taking unnecessary hits but we're already in the city and there's already some injuries in our squad from the last uh fight we had so I'm going to have them resting no matter what we do. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it. You know, one of the days it's going to come to pass that I get really cocky about it. And then someone just gets killed. Like just, you know, bull bullhorn to the head. There's no, uh, no, you know, no saving them at all. And they're done. So I should be a little safe, I'm, I'm sure. But I can't help myself. It's so much fun to, to get into combat. All right, Lydia, you're going to take a couple items from here. Hand is full. To Silo, you've got some room. I won't grab all the meat because we, we do have quite a lot of meat already. We're still... Oh, crap. <sighs> okay. I forgot that I have my arm on. All right, let's skedaddle out of town. Uh, who's slow, who's fast? Everyone run as fast as you possibly can. Doc is unfortunately carrying Rin, so let's have Doc drop Rin. Alice is holding Diana Jade. You're not holding anything. You're a little wounded, but you should be able to hold. Uh, let's have you pick up Rin as soon as he's dropped. Okay, there goes Rin. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, Doc, what are you doing? What are you doing, Doc? Uh, all right, we'll get you out of here. Jade, are you coming back? You are coming back for Rin. Let's get you really quick. All right, everybody, go, 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 go. I don't think, I don't know for sure, but I don't know if this causes us to have a bounty or not. Uh, but this is all my fault. I didn't, I for completely forgot that we had, oh, wow, you just got destroyed by the turret. That's mildly irritating. Uh, Doc just got shredded by the turret. And I don't know. We might be able to come around and get him. Who's our fastest person? It's all Tobol's fault anyways. Can you carry someone still? Let's have you loop around. They're all after the rest of the squad, which is entertaining. Uh, who's an archer? I think it is that damn turrets. Let's have him come in real quick, try to grab Doc, and then scoot out. Everyone else is still running. They might run for a while. Let's have them run towards Hub. We don't really want them running deeper into holy territory. Okay. Okay, go, go, go this way. Dip, dive, dodge, and duck. And you're you're on your way. Doc, how are you doing? You've lost... Oh, you've lost a ton of blood. I don't know. I can't put you down to heal you either. I don't know how low it can go. I think it goes down to 50 or 100 and you, you'll bleed out. Oh, it's not good. Uh, we need to... We need to get Doc somewhere where we can stop the bleeding, like, ASAP. He is bleeding, like crazy right now uh let's have okay let's have jade who's our best healer 18 okay let's have jade meet up with tobel here okay so she's coming over he's coming over god that bleeding is so bad i hope it i hope it goes all the way to 100 i really do uh let's okay come on up you're going to tobel's gonna stop you're gonna trade with tobel actually i think at this point i can just do some medicine. Uh, let's trade with the doc. Oh, come on. The thing is off the screen here. Do I have to put him down first? Okay, trade with him, please. Uh, we'll take the med kit and start healing him. Jade, I want you to just to chill out. I want everyone on passive, everyone on hold. Uh, are we still running away, I hope? You're still getting chased. Laura just got dropped. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Uh, we should have to have someone come around to pick her up. Alice already has someone. Jackson is the next strongest, I think. Actually, you know what? Probably uh, Grumble, uh, Crumble John is the next strongest. Yeah, he's pretty strong. Let's have him break off. Guys! <laughs> okay, that's my fault because I put, an, I put a command in here to, uh, to run away. Uh, how's the bleeding? Still really bad. Damn it, you're still going to chase us. Don't do this. Come on. Don't be like this, buddy. Don't be like this, buddy. And he's so damn slow that we can't even uh, do much with him. We'll have you pick up Doc. Uh, we'll have you trade with Doc. I'll have you pick up Laura. I'm basically just trying to kite this one guard away. We still have guards after us, yes or no? We do. God, they chase you forever. Uh, it's just a skeleton arm, guys. Come on. It Honestly, honestly, right? You know, rude. Let's have them run to, like, this plateau over here. And we're still going to have to micro these guys just a bit. Okay, Crumble John is heading over towards the dock. Tobel has picked up Laura. Crumble John, you're going to take a med kit. And you are going to just put some super glue over dock. We need to stop this bleeding right now. Good. I think it stopped there. Okay, so the bleeding is stopped. We'll, we'll go ahead and use the rest of the time too because he's, he's pretty safe right here. And you're going to patch him up all the way. That's fine. Tobel's running away with Laura. I don't think anyone's chasing us there. These stupid guards are chasing us right here. How much can they take? You know what? God, I, I really don't want to get a bounty for murder, though. I don't want to have... Because we're using the Holy Nation as our staging area. And as much as I'd love to kill these buggers right now, I don't really want to do that. Are you actually someone... Did you just get shot, or did you... Oh, you took a shot. He he ran up ahead and took a swipe at her. And I think the whole group could get together and fight, but look at that. I mean, 38, 47, 48. The most I think we can do is do archery, but, I mean, some of our best archers are basically down right now. Uh, let's have them run, I guess, across the down the road here to Squin. Uh, everyone's running as fast as they can. You're going to intercept a couple folks here. I'm going to do this and turn him around and then keep running. I'm going to basically just trigger that animation. I'll run right through these dust bandits. 
Uh, they should pick up some of the guards. Sometimes you can you can do a little bit of, of stuff like that to get them going, and uh, to pick up the aggro. So Crumble John, are you? You've left Doc left Doc behind, but I think you patched Doc up. Okay, this guy's not aggro. Oh, he is aggro at Crumble John. Yep. All right, let's get Doc. I hate having this much of the party split up, but we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Uh, let's have you guys run up to an area over here together. Now I think we've got some dust bandits and the guards running after us. <laughs> so we're we are making friends all over the place. Okay, Crumble John should have picked up Doc by now. We'll have him start running this way too. And I, unfortunately, I don't think there's anywhere. I mean, maybe the thieves guild will hide him. Will hide us and uh, and fight for us? I have no idea. The the aggro range is a, a little freaking ridiculous. What if we take... I mean, Tobol's not even in range. They shouldn't see his skeleton arm anymore. Uh, let's move them all into the hub. And if we have to make a last stand inside of our Tower of Awesomeness, we will. It irritates. It's so irritating. They chase you all across creation just because you've got a freaking prosthetic arm. Okay, we'll dodge that attack. Of course, you're still chasing. Not a big deal. And Alice has a lot of stuff on her. What is she carrying? Uh, I gave her a bunch of extra goods. Okay, we'll fake this attack out. Uh, let's go by the shop here. This will give us a good test of whether these guys are going to help us out or not. If the guards aggro the uh, Holy Nation guards. Okay, we just barely dodged that attack. Ah, we're going to eat it here. I didn't get that fast enough. You are not choosing to help us whatsoever. Now, it, it's possible we can all gang up on this guy up here and all hit one guy at the same time. And, uh, my friend, if you're going to chase us all the way this far, I don't care about the bounty. We're just going to kill you. We are just going to kill you and not even uh, not even loot you. You're not even worth getting looted. Because uh, this, is how, this is how you stop ignorance, folks. With a sword. No, uh, we'll have him... Uh, we'll have everyone meet up here. Right, I'm going to have everyone drop what they're carrying on this group. Crumble John is still trying to catch up, I think. I meant to check on him earlier. He's still okay. He's a bit he's a bit of a ways away. We'll have him run to the group. Okay, we've got uh, we've got the rest of the group ready to go. Alice is kind of dodging attacks here. Let's everyone's dropped down. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I guess we should probably heal some people in the meantime. What about our archer line? Alice is getting chased. Laura, Jackson, you're all good. Let's take you off passive. Let's put you ranged up. I want you to start shooting this bastard. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have Laura... Did you just shoot the dog? Guys, you're the worst. Okay. Hold passive off, ranged on. Arrows. Oh, you're in it now, buddy. Yeah, that's right. You're in the crucible. Uh-oh. I mean, we can play this um, kind of a triangle game here. Move, let's move the rest of the group back. Let's just see if we can keep him running between all, our entire group here. Ooh, that was a bad shot. All right, the rest of you guys, let's do it. Let's do it. No more passive. No more ranged. Everybody's going to attack this one guy. Let's see if we can do this. I think we can overwhelm him. Oh, I forgot these guys don't have any uh, weapons because we were trying to train them in hand-to-hand, -hand, which is not going to happen right at this moment. God, that sword is so freaking huge. It, it kind of bothers me that... Yeah, I guess people will take attacks when they can. But they're not really great at it. Right, guys, we need to get around the corner. Where's our best fighters? Of course, it's Crumble John, who's a far away. Uh, we need to get Wang Wing over here. I want you to be right on his back the entire time. Come on, get some shots in here, guys. He's not even... I don't think he's even taking a shot from us. There we go. Yeah, Diana, get in there. Get in there, Diana. Be really aggressive. Right in his gut. There we go. Wing's going to take a shot. Here comes Crumble John up the hill. Crumble John might be able to add a little bit to this fight. Uh, who's down right now? Anybody deadly, deadly, dangerous? No. Okay, Doc still like lost so much freaking blood. He's like probably pale as a ghost right now. Wing, get in here. Come on, buddy. Diana, flank this side. Come on behind him. I almost want to have our archers keep shooting him in the back, but the archers do more damage to your allies than they do the enemy. There we go. Good shot. He's look, he's not looking great. He's you know he's not he's not exactly looking like beat up. God, are you here yet, buddy? Come on, let's move it. Let's move it. 
if our entire squad gets wiped out by one one Holy Nation soldier, I'm going to be uh, a little depressed. All right, Alice is not doing too hot. Laura is not doing too hot. Doc, of course, is Doc. Uh, Jackson just went down from a, an injury. If worst comes to worst, guys, I think I can pull Jade off and have her just kite with, with the bow and probably knock him out because we're, we're faster than he is, so she can always run faster than him. All right, Crumble John, you can drop Doc. You're close enough here. Just throw him to the ground. There you go. Get stuck in, buddy. Hold passive off. Oh, God, don't take that shot. All right, show us what you're worth. Show us that big axe thing can do. You're, you're not doing much. Wing. It always bothers me that not everyone attacks at the same time. I think everyone should be attacking as much as possible. I don't know if it's a distance thing or what. Watch me run him right into this next shot. Crumble John. Crumble John. <laughs> I'm not impressed, my friend. He's just hes just like he's waiting his turn here. Oh, that was it. The one shot from Crumble John. One shot from Crumble John knocked this guy on his ass. The first thing we're going to do is disarm him. Um, let's Can we strip this stuff off? We don't want this filth. We don't want this hatred and filth. Uh, let's take his sword. Take his, we take everything, man. We're going to take his pants. Take his shirt. Okay, let's do some medic love here. Uh, we need to grab probably the med kits from Doc, who still has one right now. He does not. Doc has all the med kits. I think uh, Crumble John had one. I don't really want him to do medicing stuff, though. Medical stuff, because he's not all that great at it. Okay, so we do have do we have a bounty? If if we had a bounty, I think we would have the word bounty above our heads right now. I also don't know. Let's check our faction. Holy Nation, uh, the Holy Nation. Okay, we're still neutral, so I don't think we've pissed them off. I think what it was is they aggroed on us, and we did not get penalized for it by for fighting back. Uh, so I'm hoping we can go back to town and just, you know, hey, let's just pretend nothing happened whatsoever. Okay, Crumble John, I didn't mean to cancel that trade. Trade off that. Okay, perfect. I'll go back to Medic. Tobal Medic. Okay. Laura. Doc. Oh, God. That, look at that blood loss from Doc, though. Do we have, like, an IV kit? Because you're not looking too hot, my friend. What's this guy doing? I hope you're dying. Where are you at, Mr. Holy Nation Jerk? Where'd he go? He's God, did he walk away? Did he get away? Did I let him away? Look how this is like a garbage bag. Guys, did, did I miss him? Did he es completely escape? Like, this, <laughs> this is where I looted him. Did he get up and run home? Did he fade to dust? I'm so confused. I don't think I watched a body, a naked guy run away from our group. I wasn't paying a ton of attention. I don't see any movement. These are all our troops here that are down. And I think this is his outfit, because remember I just dumped his stuff. So I don't see a, a character here that we can click on. Unless he somehow, like, fell into the earth or something like that. God, maybe he just got away. I'll have to look at the video later, uh, the recording, and play it back. And just see if I watch somebody wander off on their own. I really wanted him to die. I'm not going to lie. I was not pleased with this guy that chased us all across creation. Okay, so we uh, obviously are a little bit injured. And this is all because I wasn't paying attention. I left my stupid arm on. So that serves me right. You know, I think, though... I think as a group of people who appreciate their freedom, uh, the Holy Nation is going to rub our group the wrong way. And at some point down the road, we're going to get our revenge, not just for us, but for anyone else who's been oppressed by the Holy Nation and uh, those who support it. So we're going to have our day in the sun, and we will bring the pain to Stack. That's what we'll do. We'll come to Stack in particular, right? Because this is where it all began, because we have a prosthetic arm. Who knows what I don't even know why we lost it. Uh, maybe saving a, a room full of kittens, right? And and they're going to hate on us? Mm -mm. Nope, not in our book. So 
I'm going to get our folks over to the uh, hub here and into some beds at the top of the tower. And I'll fast forward and come back once everyone is all healed up. And we'll try to make our way back to stack. And we'll just glare at everyone instead of trying to kill them. So we're back. And the guards didn't have any problems with us. Uh, we didn't have any faction loss. And we don't have any bounty as far as I could tell. So we're made, uh, we're, we've made it back to the city okay. We have everyone... Uh, we're a little healed up. Everyone's a little bit rough because we, you know, we did go through that long combat period, and there's not a whole lot of resting areas over at the hub. Also, while we were all resting, I noticed that there was someone for hire downstairs. So I went down and spoke with Stone, who assured me that he was a much better archer than our existing uh, archer line. So everyone's around 14 or so in this this crossbow precision area. Apparently, Stone is at 40 in crossbows. Now, I don't know the difference between... Uh, oh, precision shooting is basically not shooting your allies. Wonderful. Um, I love this. The ways to train this are to accidentally shoot your friends. So, I guess it doesn't matter, and we should have our, our folks in a big group. But the reason I hired Stone was because I wanted somebody with turret experience. Because when we have a base, I'm going to want the laborers who work on the base to also be good at firing the turrets. So Stone is going to be one of the first folks who are going to be part of the, I don't know, do we want to call it the laborers? I mean, that's pretty rough. Um, we'll call it the home guard. Let's just not tell them that they're actually going to be doing any guarding. There's there's no guarding. It's actually just going to be a matter of uh, you're, you're kind of just doing a lot of manual labor. That's fine. We won't tell them that, though. Uh, but Stone will be good in a pinch for turrets. And while we're still waiting for our base to get... Uh, set up he'll actually be really good as the archer so i've given him uh one of the bows from somebody else and given him a couple of arrows so where do we stand we want to uh, do a couple of things i want to go back into my little shack here and i want to pick up the books that we've had i don't hopefully we won't get uh searched on the way out of here but i want to pick up the science books uh to move them to the new base and I also believe I mentioned that we want to have about 12, is it 12 or is it like 18 iron plates? We're going to buy those right now as well. So let's have Stone go f get a backpack first off. Uh, do we have an adventure trader here? We do. There it is over there. And it's getting, oh, it's morning, so we're okay. Okay, Stone, just go trot your way over here. We, we may be a little bit tight on money, so we'll have to be a little careful here. I'm going to have Stone pick up a Trader's Wooden Backpack. It is very uh, inefficient for combat. If you look at the combat skills here, it's combat, stealth, dodge. Everything's really reduced when you've got the Trader's Backpack. So we're only going to use it to transport the initial goods to the base location. And I'll probably stash it until we need it again, just in case Stone has to do some fighting. Also, let's think ahead. Uh, we want to build our base, but we also want to build some farming. We want to build a wheat farm and a veggie farm. We're going to need 10 of each of those. Although I'm fairly confident we should be able to buy those at the small farms in the area. So let's start off by looking for the trade good dealer. Right over here, I think. Okay, so we want to put down... I mean, we don't even have to get... Let's just see how much they cost, I guess, first. We want to put down at least one of each. So, three building materials, six and six iron plates. Okay, so 12 iron plates, three building materials. Can we get at least that and have some money? Are oh, you guys broke? That's rough. Uh, right, let's take a look. Uh, three. And we've got enough... Uh, we've got eight iron plates here. Oh, way more money. Way more than we really needed there. Let's grab some books while we're at it. And I could grab a couple pieces of wheat straw. I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be able to find the wheat straw at the other locations, uh, at the villages around town. Let's have you check out this other building, which has more trade goods. I think this is actually the construction goods vendor. That was the trade good vendor. Uh, this is the construction vendor. The holy construction trader. Not just any trader, but the holy construction trader. So everything we buy is blessed by the hands of Akram. Uh, this should be plenty of iron, in fact, to drop us 
Uh, you know what I also want? I want two of one of the machines and one of the others. That's uh, 6, 12, 18. And let's also grab a couple of iron plates for st uh, storage things. So I want to do these uh, storage bins. And they cost, I think they cost one, and they do. So we've got the three, the nine, the nine. Okay, so we're good. Uh, we've got enough to start our base. I think this is going to be where I want to be at. Okay, we got to be a little careful. I'll tell you what. I don't want to get searched by anyone on the way out. And I want Stone to have a head start on me. Ugh, I really don't want to get him searched. Please don't search anyone. There we go. That's fine. Stone, I want you to start heading towards the final location that we want to go to. The rest of the party can come out now. Cool, we made it out without getting too uh, distracted. Oh, look. Distractions. Um, oh, yeah. Too, too, uh, too much attention drawn to us, I believe, is what I was going for be before I uh, said the word distractions. Because I'm literally looking at some bulls who have leather on them. And I can't go five feet without picking up free goods, honestly. And we're kind of in that spot in the game where you, you kind of need the money. So whatever's in front of you, you're going to take it. I don't want us to get to the point where we're, all of a sudden we're starving because we do, you know, we didn't have the foresight to get uh, a couple more pieces of uh, copper, uh, copper cats, and uh, we can't get, you know, green, green fruit to start our farm with. So I think we'll be okay. Let's grab this leather. Excellent. Uh, that should be fine for now. Forgot about the baby. Poor little baby bull. Excellent. Let's uh, let's have you all escort stone. This is a command I've not really messed with too much yet. There is a bodyguard command. Uh, if I were to right-click this and do bodyguard, everyone would get a job that would have them stay close and defend the character that they are assigned to. I'm actually just going to have them follow him instead because that then becomes a job that you would have to cancel for all of these different individuals once you set it. I'm also going to quick save because I've been having troubles with crashes, so I want to make sure we don't lose any of the, uh, the work we've done recently. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward a bit. I'm going to send someone over to... I guess I will have to wait for uh, for Stone because he has the backpack that lets you stack things up. So I'll fast forward a bit and we'll get over to our final building spot. And I am going to start in the Holy Nation territory just for a starter base. Just going to be our place to start growing some crops. I'm going to put down a house that we can do some training at. Of course, I accidentally clicked away everyone and all of a sudden we're going to get... Uh, fought. We're going to get into a combat here. Alright, let's come back and fight these guys. Or this one guy. It's just a, it's just one dog. So hopefully our group has become, you know, strong enough to fight one bone dog. Which they have. Except whoever's wounded here. Poor Kiff, man. Kiff has been having a rough time of it lately. He's uh, His toughness should be pretty high, though. 13? Yeah, it's, it's among the highest in the group. So he's he's been uh, getting beat up just a bit. Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, and I'll be right back once we're at our building spot. All right, so we made it. This is the location that I enjoy for building a base. I've used this a couple times now, and I really, really like it, uh, especially for just a starter base. I'm not going to do the entire Let's Play in this location uh, by any means. We're actually just going to make a very small, possibly not even a, a fenced-in, walled-in community. It's just going to be a couple of buildings, enough for us to start farming, uh, have a food supply and um, have a couple locations for our folks to train up and from there we're going to launch raids and explorations into different locations so uh, and I, I'm still debating on where to do our final base or maybe the mid game base I guess it just depends we don't necessarily have to have one uh, particular base we could have a bunch of outposts right so if we go uh, exploring to the north maybe we could find a, a flat spot to build up a little outpost to do a uh, you know, it's just somewhere for our folks to come back and rest and recuperate after they've been beat up a bit. We could set up an outpost in, in the north, maybe uh, somewhere in the desert, and then somewhere down south, although the south is obviously really big. Uh, personally, like I mentioned before, I really like this island here as kind of a final location for a base because I think it's very challenging and fun. But we'll see. There's also a nice little spot on a plateau here. Uh, it does have some fun bandits. That might be a decent spot for a main base. It's, it's not really great for mineral extraction, uh, but for the most part, it, uh, it does have a lot in terms of some difficulty. Like It has a lot of dust bandits around, so we could wind up training up our archers and our crossbowmen and the turret guys, uh, the turret folks that are going to be on the defenses, as well as our combat people as well. So, 
Uh, this is the spot. I think I'm going to go ahead and just lay down the the rough building so you can get an idea of what I'm going to do. And I like to normally stay close to the river, but I found that it's a little bit easier to set up everything in this area here on this little peninsula of sorts. It's, it's not really, but uh, this little piece of land here that's surrounded by water, or this uh, two streams, I'm going to put down a iron or sorry stone mine around here because it does give you 100% efficiency and let me actually find that 100% spot here's iron and here's copper these are raw resources so we can have people mining this I'm gonna put down some storage boxes over here and so they'll mine this until it's full bring the storage or bring the ore down here and drop it in the box and then as our people in town need it they'll come over and take it from the box uh, and then the stone processor can go on this side of the river and yes, we are crossing a river, but honestly, it's it's such a small area that it it's not really something you notice in terms of uh, in terms of time lost or anything like that. So I'll just drop down a couple of one refinery, one uh, stone processor here, like this. I'll also go ahead and drop down some storage. We'll do the raw ore. This is the one that says ore is for iron ore. The one that says copper is for copper ore. I know it's a little bit interesting and weird that they chose those phrases and we'll do stones right here it's one two three i think we have five spares so we'll do building materials here and iron plates here all right so those are those initial ones now we also want to do some farming down the road however we did need not only do we need uh actually that's all we do i thought we needed maybe iron plates but all we need is the the raw fruit itself and we'll be able to build those and i will have stone go grab that once he's done unloading and uh, building. So stone the one, stone's the one that has everything right now. I'm gonna have him load up the, uh, build these areas here. Oh, we need to make an engineer. We don't have any engineers yet. Well, uh, do we have anyone with engineering at all? Uh, nope. Hey, that's fine. Does he wanna get a bonus to it? Oh, Beep does. Maybe we should go find Beep. Well, we can't because as soon as Beep gets into the area, he's going to be a target for the Holy Nation because, you know, they, they basically just hate everyone. Um, so we'll have Jackson be an engineer for the moment, and we'll have Kif be an engineer for Kif. So that means that they have the job of engineer. I did that by shift right-clicking. They're just going to build, whenever there's materials available, they're going to build uh, any anything that's needed. And by placing these two storage units, I'll show you what happens. Stone has had a bunch of iron in his inventory if you noticed it immediately emptied because there is a ai setting that says uh ditch items so when your character is idle they will put any excess uh, excess material they're carrying into the appropriate storage container so as you can see right here he's dumped the iron into this one and he's going to go dump the building material into this storage area here and then our engineers will just go to the resource uh, the storage bin grab the resource and go build so that's that. That's going to be the start of our little adventure. Uh, this is going to be, again, just a starter base. I hope that I know it's a little bit too easy, I think. It's, it's not really something I'd like to do long term. But for, for building up to get yourself some food and uh, get yourself some basic training areas. Because remember, even though we've, we're at like 10 episodes in right now, we're still really, really weak. <laughs> we are really, uh, really awful when it comes to combat. So we have a long ways to go in terms of getting ourselves uh, a little bit better. So we'll work on that. We'll also set up another research bench out here, as well as some power. And I'll be doing that next episode. Next episode is going to be a base building episode, and maybe we might get into a fight with uh, a group of river raptors that come too close, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So first thing we'll do next episode is send stone off to go gather the resources we need for uh, the farms. Let me get rid of these books real quick. Really? You can't, uh... Okay, fair enough. Maybe we'll send the whole group over. Well, they don't have enough money to buy all the uh, the animal skin. I might send the fighters over to the city to, to trade in all the leather. So we'll get there. Alright, folks. Thank you so much for joining me for this Let's Play episode. I hope this was fun for you. And uh, I apologize for basically wasting the whole episode where I'm running away from the Holy Nation because I forgot I had my arm on. Hopefully we won't have that problem happen again anytime soon, but we will, mark my words, we will have our revenge on stack someday. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.